T1. All right, this is another um, 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 picture of it. Um, it's called, you know, saying Edfu. But here we have um, the Mosaic Temple again based on, once again, the human anatomy, T1. 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? And, and if anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. 2 Corinthians 6, 16, 8, 18. For ye are the temple of the living God, and as God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God, where God is going to be at? In them. In them. And the Christians don't tell you that, do they? I will be their God, and they shall be my people. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters. Save the Lord Almighty. Mm. So God do have daughters. All right? Yes, this, this is one of the things in which that um, um, I heard some brothers say in their twisted philosophy that God didn't have no daughters. Well, we just seen right there that angels can be um, females too. So right here, they call them your temples for a reason because this is the house where God dwells within. Your temples. Right between the temples. You get it? Continue on, please. Check it. I ain't going to get through this. All right, 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Oh, do you not know yourself that Jesus Christ is within you? Where's Jesus Christ at? Within you. Where was God at? Within you. Okay, let's look down. 1 Corinthians 16, 19, 20. Or do you not know yourself that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is where? Mm -hmm. It's in you. Hold up. Jesus Christ is in you. The God Holy is in you. Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the Holy Trinity. Wow. All three of them is in you? In your Bible? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> you have to die and you are not your own. For you was bought at a price. Check that out now. You was bought at a price. What's the price they're talking about? Therefore, glorify God where? In your body. In your body. Not in church, not in the mosque, not in the temple, not inside of a recreational center or anywhere else. God is in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Continue on. Right. So, this right. You when you pray, you pray inside to yourself, to your oneness, which is your God, your your Lord, the personal Savior, which is inside of you, which is your soul. This is your very interesting Bible verse, very interesting, as it states that we was born at a price. What price? Christians believe that this verse is referring to Jesus dying on the cross for them. However, as a metaphysician, we understand the stars died for us so that we may live. For a star to be born, the one thing that must happen, a gaseous nebula must collapse. Those, think those dead stars, without them, we wouldn't be here. The calcium in your bones, the oxygen you breathe, the iron in your blood, were all cooked up in stars that died billions of years ago. I just found a really what? old picture of you. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we are energy and light beings. Our cells contain light illuminating and from dullness to brightness. Toxic food, thoughts, relationships, environment, dims our light. Kindness, gratitude, whole foods, and passion brightens our light. Let your light shine. Look, this is the delight of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this is the delight of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> All right, so better than beings need three times the amount of body the um, D3. And that's calcium, but it do need calcium, which is one to three hours in the sun. That is melanin right there, which very, which looks very similar to the luciferin um, molecule that we said earlier. To mm -hmm. Because the beauty of melanin is that melanin is a fundamental unit of the universe and exists in four forms. Cosmic, planetary, plant, chlorophyll, and animal melanin. Melanin is black because its chemical structure absorbs, um, allows no energy to escape, making black melanin the super absorber of, it, of energy and light. Melanin is found in almost every organ of the body and is necessary in order for the brain and the nerves to operate. The eyes to see, the cells to produce reproduce, etc., etc. Melanin can rearrange its chemical structure to absorb all energy across the radiant energy spectrum. Sunlight, x-rays, music, sound, ra um, um, was that sound, radar, radio waves, etc. Alright? So when you read your Bible, Peter um, Moon book, Black Sun, he states that 666 is 6 protons, 6 electrons, 6 neutrons. Mm -hmm. Forming the physical body. Because your physical body is carbon. You're a carbon being. 
Uh -huh. Even according to the Holy Bible, God created man on what? The sixth day. Or rather, from the sixth element, which is carbon, black melody. Continue on. About six, 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 Man, the light and the empty frequencies rearranged. This is what he was talking about. Continue on. All right. In the ancient Kemite teachings, they tell you about the nine bodies. This is where the nine lives of the cat come from. The first one that starts off is lower physical body is called cot. Then Ka, ethereal spiritual body, lower astral body. Then Segma, which is the life force. Ab, the inner heart or desire body, emotional body or higher astral body. Sahu, which is the spiritual mental body. Ku, which is the cordial body. Rain, which is the personal body or name. Kevet, which is the um, shadow body. And then Ba, which is the soul body. All right? Then we graduate from seven to 9 to 12. How do we know? Because right in the book of Revelations, first chapter, there were seven stars in the right hand of the Son of Man. That was in the first chapter of the book of Revelations. By Revelation, the 12th chapter, it changes to 12 stars around the head or the crown of the woman that sat on the throne with the moon underneath her feet. So it went from seven stars to 12 stars. It's talking about that we're developing to a 12 um, system of chakras. It means we have extra endocrine glands um, being grown right now. We have one which is called the berry gland, which sits right under here, under the submental area. Peter there's one that we, right, there's one in which that we talked about, which is the epiphany gland, which is right here at the upper palate of the um of the mouth. So those are two. The hole in the ear. Right, there's two. Here. Right, there's two, right, those allegedly extraterrestrial markings. But we'll get, you know what I'm saying, all that. In the book, Now Valley Contribution to Civilization by Anthony T. Broder, he breaks it down about from Atum comes the eight deities or natures called the Agnai. All right? He himself made the um, Enad. All right? One of the Enads is Shu, which is the personification of air. This is a picture of Shu. So when you go to the book of Revelations, it said that um, he had hair like lamb's wool, feet as if it was burnt in the furnace. You know what I'm saying? So from so on, this came from this um, of one of the depictions of Shu off the walls of, um, of Kemet, called Shu is Yahshua, which we refer to as the breath of, um, the breath of life or the word made flesh. Yahshua means salvation, all right? Yahoshua, which is Yahshua, is the Lord who is salvation. So the breath is your salvation, all right? The breath is what gives you your ability in order to have the experiences that you need. All right, when you see Atum um, kissing his phallus, what ejaculates is called Shu. Shu is who is ejaculated from his phallus. We call it semen, but Shu is that personification of air. Regularly, check this out, women. Y'all might not know this, but a man um, in his healthy state can actually ejaculate um, at least three feet outside of himself. That means there's air, like a hydraulics, in which that is there. It's called his perineum and his wow. prostate gland, mm -hmm. in which that is able to actually shoot forth. The word shoot and the word shoot that we say now, shoot, is, comes from the word shoot, which has a similar sound to what we do when we sneeze, which is, yeah, shoot. You see? What comes out normally when you yeah, shoot? Snot. <laughs> which is very similar to the semen as it looks in property. In the ancient Egyptians, roughly announced, I say what? She, which is he, which is your for the word what? I say, which means what? Power. So the, uh, to drive the point home, what is the sound that we all make when we sneeze? Yashu. None of y'all had Yashu classes. As they, right? Did y'all get taught how to say Yashu? No, that's just the sound that you make when you sneeze. If you're not trying to stop, you know, some people. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They do that but when you just let it go, you say the name of God. 
or your personal Lord and Savior, or as the ancient Egyptians or Kemites knew, or Hebrews knew later on, that it was the name in which that we later on becomes the personification of Yahshua um, in the Bible. This is why John 14, 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. The only way you can get to the pine gland is through breath, through meditation. So the breath, the breath of life is Yahshua, which is the sneeze, the sound, the, 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 that was made flesh. You get it? So yes, continue on, please. So breath affects the whole body. People don't know. It affects the nervous system, the heart, the digestive, muscles, sleep, energy levels, concentration, memory, much more. Breathing is also the largest source of waste removal. 70% of the waste removed produce, or products produced in the body is supposed to be removed via breathing. 20% via the skin, 10% via kidneys and digestive system. We, um, we, we don't only breathe in oxygen, we also breathe in what is, uh, which is also the eighth element, which is the eighth element of the periodical chart, but we also breathe in life energy, which is chi or prana or ki. Within um, Hebrew is ruach, or within ancient Kemet teachings is ra. All right, well, if you get to 777 and the other Kabbalistic writings of Alison Crawley, he tells you that 888 is the number of Jesus in the Greek. I ought Eta, which is 10, Eta is 8, Sigma, 200, Omicron, 70, um, Upsilon, 400, and Sigma, 200, comes up to um, Iso, which is Iso, or Iso within the Quran, which comes up to 888, continue on. What you have, which is oxygen, you have what? A and electrons, electrons, a protons, a neutrons. That's your Jesus. Mm, there's the air. You didn't know? <laughs> the only way that you can get to me is between me and the Father. Right. The only way you can get to the Father, which is in heaven, which is your soul, to awaken into its fullest manifestation, is by mastering the science of breath. You can't raise Kundalini until you master breath. Remember, I told you the two frequencies is the nostrils. Remember, God grew into the nostrils of man and made man a living soul. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Jesus lived in your heart. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The Sufi say Allah is closer than your juggler vein. Mm -hmm. All right. So right. right here, according to the scriptures of the Surah, um, Yoga, Shiva, um, Surah Deya, and um, um, Guyana, uh, uh, Shara Deya, the lifespan of a man is measured not in years, but in the numbers of breath. At the rate of 15 drops per minute, a human life is comprised of a total of 946 million and 80,000 breaths, a full 120 years. By reducing the lift of breath and simultaneously the breath rate, one's lifespan increases. We just gave you the secret. Because breath is primary. The breathing process itself is a neural Motor um, action says inhale, <coughs> insulation, and exhalation are done with the help of the nerves. Breathing is controlled by a cycle of electromagnetic impulses. The electromagnetic energy passes down from the medulla oblongata to the solar plexus region, causing the continuance or the continual um, process of expansion and contraction, which is of the lungs, which is your breathing. Within, um, with, which carries the, electromag or the electric and magnetic impulses to the controlling diaphragmic muscles. This is refined to a subtle medium called solar prana. Therefore, breathing is the physical counterpart of what? The mind. The mind. The, mind, the breath is the mind in action. Spirit and breath are synonymous. Shoo. The breath normally cannot be seen unless temperature is cold, cool, and of course, you know, heat, you know, uh, due to the heat and the breath, you know, precipitation, which produces his system, which is tefnut, which is moisture. But anyway, breath, spirit connects with the organism, with the consciousness. Matter with mind. Its presence is life. Absence of it is death. Therefore, it is the breath that holds the <coughs> human composition together. Centripetal and centrifugal force. Centripetal is what? Pull, inhale. And centrifugal is push, exhale forces, which is yin and yang. Or yin, feminine, yang, masculine, which is the holy breath. We are in unison. The Quran, Holy Quran, Circle 7, 7th seven chapter, the friendship of G Jesus and Lamas, he, he says here, the holy breath is truth. It is, it was, 
It is and forever shall be. It cannot change nor pass away. All right? You said that already. Same thing, John 1, 14. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We help his glory and the glory of his only begotten of his Father, which is you. All right? Because only you can come here as you. All right? Full of grace and truth. All right? So continue on. The word pregnant itself in the Sanskrit means prop, prop, or means first and now, which means the smallest unit of energy. In other words, prana uh, means the first breath, or the most basic unit of energy, which is subatomic particles, stardust particles. Prana is the life force that is responsible for the forming and the regulating energy in the form of matter. All right, continue on. All right, you get the book, Black Wash Out the White Wash, by Dr. Suzar. Mm -hmm. She states, humanity, the first prototype begins as a life a long-lived, God-like, ethereal, um, homophobic being that gradually polarized into, into an opposite sexes, male and female, and solidified into flesh form. Is that true? Yes, it is. Right here, you get um, a morphogenic process in low energy electromagnetic fields by like ST and SP um, or Samian. Journal on Biological Physics by Stillwater in Oklahoma. It states specifically that this is a picture of a Three month fetus right here is called the quantum quantograph. So before um, the um, the fetus comes physical, this is what is seen under the microscope, uh, under that technology. That graph is the formation of life. This is prior. This is three months also prior to the manifestation of the child. Hence the reason why you add three months to the nine months that you was born. Hence to give you the twelve month cycle. That also means that you have to take the, um, the cell salts, which is called um, the muscle tissue blood salts, and you have to take um, the three months um, of your month and then the two months um, prior um, after, two months after, which will give you your three. All right, continue on. This is, cell, this is cellular, um, um, what's called mitosis or blastopores. This is what forms the child into an um, embryo. Um, later on to a fetus state. This is what is on the wall symbolic to that. This is water. This is the life, which is the child. Of course, this is the connection between male and female life. All right? Father saying vagina, um, vaginal canal. Wow. And here you have the blastular pores as it goes through cellular division in which that forms life. No coincidence that the word chondra um, um, stems from the word um, Kanun, which was the potter's on his will in ancient Kenya, he was the potter of God. He formed a body and a cow on his will, hence the term Kaaba, which is the um, spirit and the soul. All right, and Kanun um, is said to be the creator God. The Bible says that God created man on, um, on his potter's will too. The Quran speaks about man being made on his potter's will. So everybody talks about this potter's will or this pottery. In other words, man being made from clay, mm -hmm. symbolically. This is the clay that we're really talking about here. Continue on. Continue on. All right, you get the book Forbidden Archaeology, The Hidden History of the Human Race by Michael Cremore and Richard L. Thompson. They show you how long man been on this planet. We're talking about 2.8 billion years. We're not talking about just got here. All right? Christian theology want to tell you that you just got here 6,000 years ago. God just created a planet 6,000 years. And you just got here. All right. They found in South Africa there was a mine with hundreds of metallic spheres, well underground, and they was blasted out. All right, and they dated back to 2.8 billion years out of Transvaal, um, South Africa. Continue on. Albert Church War: Signs and Symbols of the Primordial Man states that the Twelve, which is the Pygmies, are the original and the oldest living people on the face of the planet Earth. Continue on. Get this book: Guys and Spacemen in the Ancient West. All right, don't let the type of trick you. This is by Raymond Drake. Good book. Pygmies inhibited Earth for over, for actually for 30 million years. It's more, as we've seen, 2.8 billion. In the book, um, Congo Catabo, um actually was formerly called um, Pygmies, Catabo Pierre, um, Hayler, he wrote that, um, that the Trois, or the Pygmies, are the world's most genetically pure ethnic race, surviving since the dawn of humanity, in real harmony with God, nature, and each other. Right? 
So we find that the European are not a primary race because he's a hybrid. He is part Neanderthal. He's a blend between um, African and Asians, according to modern DNA research. Europeans are mostly Asian, hence Neanderthal. All right, that's what they found out. All right, now, interesting thing is that you get the word Ben Shamish, which is Hebrew, the children of the sun, of the sun. That's you. How do you know? Because, check this out, the term belongs to a period when the Jews were divided into sun and moon worshippers. Called what? Ales and bays. Ales and bays. In other words, you niggas practice Qigong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Practice this stuff here. Mm -hmm. This was you. Continue. Continue. Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all seen this scene before? This is the feather being weighed against the heart. Right? There's a little bit deeper than what you see here. This is this is animate which eats the desires of the heart. If the heart do not is not lighter than the feather, animus, which is a crocodile uh, uh, type of creature here, eats the desires, and the man have to incarnate again, veil with his memories not intact. Even though he still have his memories, cause it's here at the back of the head at the Madonna and the God, which if you tap here 25 times, three times a day, which is 75 times, you can scar that area in order to give you um, access to your Akashic records, which is your past lives, mm -hmm. and also develop a photographic memory. But this creature eats that heart so that you can't remember um, as you come back, so that each experience seems to be new. Or either you have deja vu experience, and you be like, oh, snap! Yo, that happened! Yo, I remember, yo, I remember that somehow. Or, you know I have a dream. Right. right, right. And y'all seen that in the movie Matrix. Uh, remember they was going up the stairs, and Neo yeah. looked back, and he seen the cat. And Neo said, deja vu. And they heard what he said. They said, yo, what happened? He said, I seen a black cat, you know, come by and then another black cat. Was that another cat or was that the same cat? He said, it looked like the same cat. And then Morpheus and, you know, Trinity them said, yo, they just switched up the matrix. They changed it. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Y'all found out what was going on. You was having glimpses to um, incarnation. Your soul leaves the body at night. So maybe when you was younger, you went into a future timeline, which children are able to do, especially around the age of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, between mm -hmm. 7 and 12. Mm -hmm. All right? They're able to do that very well because they do a lot of lucid dreaming and out of body um, um, experience. They have a lot of out of body experiences. Continue on. Right, these are the eight rules of reincarnation. Humans are almost always reborn as humans. A birthmark can signify injury or a means of death from a prior life. When people are strong, will die suddenly, they will become ghosts. Um, all our good and bad karma enters into our new body with our soul. Doing good karma does not eradicate bad karma. All right? This is what the European uh, Albions, in particular the Jews, believe that by doing good, they can eradicate the bad. Sorry. After death, we are not reborn immediately because we dwell on the astral plane for about a thousand years, or what appears to be about a thousand years, too. Our time period actually is, might be just two to five years. Two years um, if you incarnate back within the same ethnicity um, group or racial group. Uh, five years if you come back into another group because you had to be trained into another dialect or language. All right. After death, you're not reborn immediately. Soul becomes more spiritual and wise through progressive lives. Bless you guys. Mm -hmm. Very few people are able to recall their past life memories, and I just gave you the clue on how to do so. Okay. The communication mm -hmm. be your, between yourself and the ancestors is within. Be aware of your thoughts. Pay attention to your dreams. Observe the animals that appears in your life. Mm -hmm. Look at the signs, symbolism, and the synchronicities that occurs day to day. This is where the messages are found. Mm -hmm. All right now we're going now that was the end of that now we're going to some what some of y'all been waiting for the sovereignty all right all right now i told you i'm gonna hurry up and get past it all right now 
The United States of America was never a sovereign nation, just a business association, folks. It's the land-based states that are separate, sovereign nations, all right? And it's not even that now, because they took it from, um, from the natives or indigenous people, and it's on stolen land, all right? And the federal United States comprises about 57 states, all right? 50 federal states plus the uh, federal territories and possessions, which are counted as states, of their union, which is supposed to operate exclusively in the international jurisdiction of the sea. Of course, that's Guam, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, etc. Continue on. All right, continental United States supposed to be 50 separate um, nations, um, states operating as a nation on the land um, jurisdiction. Federal United States is the 50 incorporation franchise. United States operating the international jurisdiction of the sea, plus which is admiralty of maritime plus the seven nations that we just spoke about. Continue on. All right? Here we read that a citizen of the United States is a citizen of what? The federal, federal government. government. This is Ketchin versus Steele. This is a United States Supreme Court case that um, was within 1953. Continue on. A statute is not a law. This is um, Flournoy um, versus First Knot Bank. Uh, First National Bank of Shreveport, all right? Code is not a law. This is um, resale versus Ray. Wow. 61, in point of fact and law. A concurrent or joint resolution of legislation is not law, all right? Which is ward versus state, all right? State, um, Todd versus Yelly, all right? All codes, rules, regulations are for the government authorities only, not humans, creators, in accordance with God's law. All codes, rules, and regulations, that's statutes, are unconstitutional and lacking due process. That is Rodriguez versus Ray Donovan. All right, this is Department of Labor. All right, then you have the Common law is the real law, the supreme law of the land, which is actually common sense law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The code, rules, regulations, policies, and statutes are not law. This is, once again, self versus ray, and this is right here. They are the law of government for internal regulations, not the laws of man. In his separate but equal um, stash, um, station and natural state, a sovereign foreign with respect to government General. gen generally. So what they created, they created a color of law. The appearance or assimilates without the substance of legal right. This is State versus Belcher, all right? This is the source from the Black Law Dictionary, page 331. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what they did with the color of law. Now, the individual who did the book is called Henry, Co um, Henry Cable, um, Campbell Black. So when you look up the color of law, you know, and you also find the color of authority, the color of office, and the definition of color itself, you know what I'm saying, is Henry Campbell Black, being that he has the last name Black, is he so-called Black, is he a black person, and I'm supposed to call Henry Campbell Black, um, a black person?